The 2017 college football season rolls on as the thundering herd invades Cincinnati to battle the Bearcats. It's coming up next on ESPN3. It is a perfect night for football here at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati. Tonight, the Bearcats host the Marshall Thundering Herd. And we are just about to get underway. Marcel Williams will be back to receive for the Thundering Herd. Cincinnati 2-2. Two and two. So looking to stay above 500, we're underway. This one taken from the 20 and up to the 30-yard line. Keep an eye on the freshman running back, Tyler King, who gets the start tonight. He lines up next to Linton. Four wideouts on the first play from scrimmage for the Thundering Herd. It's a short throw for Linton, and it's caught by Brady, his receiver. So first down, Bearcats. From the 31, here's Hayden Moore out of the shotgun, and he'll hand this one off to Dokes. He takes it for maybe a yard. Ty Tyler, the sophomore defensive lineman, coming off that huge day. Due for three touchdowns in that Navy contest. He is really starting to get in sync. That's a backwards pass, and it is on the deck and loose. Marshall has it at the 34-yard line, and now will go the other way. Well, the interesting thing about this pass is Moore wanted to get it to his outside receiver, but he saw coverage there, so he tried to pull it back. But when he did, the ball went behind the line of scrimmage, which made this a backwards pass. You see right here, you see Moore, he tried to pull the ball back in, but it got loose from his hand, and a good job by the defense reacting to the football. Now Lynn will make some adjustments. Second down from the 34. Chase Litton to throw. Far side has his man, and now Marcel Williams can do something with it. He takes it up near midfield, and that's good for a hurt first down. Marcel Williams, the junior out of Palm Coast, Florida. Third down, and the herd needs seven. Crowd comes alive here at Nipper. Litton, time to throw. He has got a rifle caught at the 40 yard line. And that is going to be some tough running on that far side. It is tough to bring, bring down Mr. Tyree Brady. Miami transfer has shown the skills that he has in this young season. Well, not only being 6'3", 205 pounds, but this kid is blazing with his speed. So you see the defensive backs getting in a bail technique at the snap of the football, trying to run away. So first down for the herd from the 25. Linton gonna have to get away from trouble. Does just that. Shown he can move in wide open middle of the field. That's Keon Davis. And he has got another first down. Impressive play by Chase Linton. Excellent job by number 50, Will Omer, and the guard. They did a good job switching on that play. And you see the athletic ability of Linton to get outside of the pocket and find the open receiver, Davis, and get the ball to him. Good job by the offensive line. Better job by the quarterback. To an impressive first quarter for Chase Linton. And now Marshall knocking on the door. Linton fakes the handoff over the top for the touchdown. Ryan Juracek, the senior tight end. And Marshall's on the board. And a good job by Linton allowing his tight end to release. You see the tight end releases down the middle of the field. And Jalen Miner, the top defender for Cincinnati. And watch number 33, Jalen Miner. You can't see him on this play. He tries to react, but by the time he tries to react, Juracek is by him. And Litton knows he has him. A good job by Litton not putting too much on the football. A lot. Thomas Geddes back to receive for the Bearcats. Vedvig kicks it off. And it's going to be into the end zone and taken out. Gettis tries to get to that far side. And he gets it across the 15 to the 17 yard line. I'll tell you what, that was a pretty good looking drive from the hurt. Well, they mixed it up. They got the ball to their running backs. Their playmaker in space allowed him to make plays. And you see here, Litton get to the outside, find Davis down the middle of the field, and the touch on this pass to Juracek. Just what the doctor ordered for this martial offense. 20th 
in the nation as far as rushing yards are concerned. More to throw again. Wants the home run. Incomplete. It looked like he put it where it had to be. There was contact between defensive back and Khalil Lewis. We saw in the coverage that was Nazi Johnson. And Nazi Johnson never turned around to locate the football. He's very lucky the official didn't give him the pass interference call. You need to turn around and locate the football. Look, he never turns around. There's a lot of hand fighting going on. I'm surprised that. Third and 10 now. Empty backfield for the Bearcats. 35%. On the season on third down. Dokes moves to that running back spot. Moore with time. Four man rush. And Moore's got to throw it away. Good pressure that time. Tell you what, this front for Marshall, they can get after you. Ty Tyler leading the charge that time. And number 71, Corey Cunningham has to do a better job of punching at the point of attack. He's got a good kick step. But you've got to maintain your block and you've got to keep square. You've got to stay square on the defender. This team, to me, is the leader of the pack in the SEC East, and Alabama better be careful. Clemson, Virginia Tech, going to be really interesting tonight as well. Nice tackle by Ryan B. Big number 91 has been just a great story for Marshall. First down from the 41. See if Moore can get into a rhythm. Ball is up in the air and up for grabs. And incomplete. Nearly intercepted that time. Chase Hancock, the junior, had his hands on it and probably should have been going the other way. And Hancock did a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes. Watch Hancock on this play. Moore followed his receiver the entire time, and all Hancock did was run where quarterback's eyes were and stepped in front of that pass that should have been an INT. Those linebackers, Hancock and Hernandez, playing great for the herd this year. Defense doing a good job containing that time. Fresh set of downs now from the third. Linton wants to throw again. He is airing it out early and often. Have a, 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 a difficult outing because it's such a dynamic offense to try and stop. Third and two. Linton only needs two and he's got it. Well designed play that time. Williams made the catch. Pushed out of bounds by Carter Jacobs. It'll be a first down. And you see what Marshall did on that play with anticipation of the Bearcats bringing the blitz. They sprinted Litton outside of the pocket to give him more time to deliver football down the field. Good coaching. Great call on that play. Third down once again. And the Nippert crowd will come alive once again. Linton steps in, got a man. Marcel Williams all the way to the 25-yard line, and Marshall is in business once again. Carter Jacobs made the tackle, but it's another big play. And if you give Litton this type of time, he'll beat you up. Litton did a good job of stepping up in the pocket. He had some pressure coming from the left defensive end. His right tackle is continuing to have issues, but Litton climbed the pocket and got the ball down the field to Williams. 34-yard gain for the Thundering Herd. And now they've got it to 25. And that has silenced this Nippert Stadium crowd once again. For the moment, Linton keeps it on the option, tucks it in, and he's got it inside the 24. So I'm telling you, Chase Linton, when he was in high school, coming out of that Tampa area, I'm from that area. Coaches were so excited, they thought Chase Linton was going to be the next coming. Marshall really controlling the time of possession. Over 12 minutes for the herd, and just under three minutes possessing for the Bearcats. Cincinnati only one first down so far. So third down and medium. Now for Chase Linton and Marshall. This is Davis. Davis with a head of steam. And he was just about to break it for Perry Young. He was able to get him by the feet. It'll be another Marshall first down. And a good job by number 85, Ryan Juracek, the tight end. Watch him on the outside. He does a good job with this block, but he doesn't hold. He allows the bat to get by him, and he lets the defend. So Kari Vedvik. Three of four this year, as long as 45 against NC State. This kick is up and good. 
First down from the 25. Cincinnati has got to establish some kind of a running game. Negative four yards rushing here so far. And you can see they're just not getting a lot of push. What Cincinnati likes to do is go to three down front and move their linebackers around and all the gaps to try and confuse the offensive line. Here comes the pressure. Linton delivers again. It's Brady time up to the 45 yard line first down. Chase Linton looking very comfortable right now on the road. Just playing backyard football as he hits Willie Johnson. Johnson about a yard shy of the first down force. We've seen some pretty good quarterbacks this season. Chase Linton's got an NFL arm. There is no doubt. It all depends on the level of maturity as he continues to grow within this offense continues to show leadership qualities continues to develop as that guy as long as he does that and he's on the path that he's on right now as long as he stays on that path he does have a chance to play on Sundays five of eight on third down tonight for Marshall they need one and it off and a well-designed play Anthony Anderson the junior bulls his way for four yards in a first down Third now needs seven. Third down. Linton sets up the screen this time, and that one gets blown up before it ever happened. Long drive for Marshall comes up empty, so still a 10-0 score, and Coach Holiday was given the official an earful during the break for us. Well, the offensive lineman gave up pressure too fast, and you see the receiver right there being held. I agree with Coach Holiday on that play. They got away with it on that. Davin Pierce did a good job of getting that sand on the receiver and pulling them back. And Holl Coach Holiday is not happy about it at all. And I think that was maybe a, a get back call after those two pass interferences that the Bearcats have been called for. Now Moore wants to go for the home run. Has a man downfield and it's broken away at the very last moment. Was looking for Geddes but Brandon Drayton was down the field and in position. And Geddes was open, but Drayton tracked the football exactly how you're taught to do. You see him looking at the football, not the receiver, trying to make the reception. A good job by Geddes to actually break that up because Drayton had more of a play on the football than Geddes did. Second and ten now. And Bearcats still trying to run the football. That's Mike Boone's first carry tonight. Casey Weldon, Amp Lee. Back in the day. This ball taken by King up to the 37. And I don't believe Forrest had fully reached his stride at that point, right? You so another third down situation for Marshall. Empty backfield for Linton. Chase Linton. Pitch and catch again. This time hits Tyler King, but I don't think he's going to get the spot. Maybe just a little short. And we may have a challenge on this play because I thought he reached out with the football. It's not where he goes out. It's where the ball is when he goes out of bounds. Hit the freshman Tyler King that time. Check this one out again. Now watch where the football is when he goes out of bounds. Oh, I think you're right, Forrest. Yes, I think that is a first down. First down for the herd. From the 43. Crowd a little frustrated here at Nippert. And now the hole start to open up just a little bit for Tyler King. Best run of the night, 10 yards and close to a first. They will move the Jacks. He's done a really good job for a freshman. He's got really good footwork. He's been able to get out on the edge and do good on his lead blocks. I like what I see from him so far. He has been poised. And he has been confident in this hostile environment at Nippert Stadium. And I expect Cincinnati to bring pressure on this play. Third and 12. Linton, with time to throw, steps up, hits Juracek. Close to a first down, about two yards shy. Bird getting the better of it. Here's. That previous play, Linton checking down and hitting Juracek. Anyway, Juracek's the guy that every offense wants to have. Fourth and two. Again, 145 to play in the first half. Linton pulls it back. 
Now throws it downfield. A man open. Johnson has got it for the touchdown. Twenty-seven yards, as well designed as it gets. And Marshall ran the same play. You see the man in motion. All of the defenders go with their man in motion. Marcel Williams and the receiver is able to sneak out on the back of the defense, Willie Johnson, and be wide open. Nobody paid attention to him from the back side of the offense. Marshall looked for us to see how the defense reacted to the player in motion, and they didn't. And you see right there, Willie Johnson knew he was open immediately. You see him put his hand up, and <laughs> often guys get really excited. I like that Litton did not get excited. Once again, we saw it earlier in the ball game. Juracek wide open. He put just enough on the football. That play, Johnson wide open. He put just enough on the football. He didn't get overexcited. That's the maturity process that we're talking about, and you're seeing it right here in front of our eyes. Four, she nailed it. I think Chase Linton is coming of age here tonight. He's had some big victories. Remember, was a part of this Marshall team winning 10 games when he was just a freshman. But to come in here on the road against an American Conference team, put up those numbers through a half, that's great football. Well, think of what you have to live up to when you're playing quarterback at Marshall University. Raheem Cato, Byron Leftwich, Chad Pennington, all of these guys played great inside this program, and he's living up to it right now. Bearcats decide to bring it out. I'm not sure about that decision, and the ball may have come out at the end of the play. And it may have just went from bad to worse. Marshall says it's their football. Officials trying to sort it out, and it will belong to the herd. Unbelievable. And too often when you're trying to make a play, you make the wrong play. You've got to take the knee and give your team good field position right now. And it doesn't look like it was a direct hit on the football. Looked like Chase Hancock got in there first. Got a hand on it. Second turnover for Cincinnati. Linton and Marshall trying to capitalize. Middle of the field. It's Juracek diving forward for the touchdown. And the Bearcats are so concerned with the wide receivers, they are not paying attention to Juracek. He has hurt them all evening long. You see Juracek right here acting like he's going to block. And Jalen Miner gets caught getting, trying to run in and make a big play. And once 24 to nothing, the home crowd absolutely shocked. Watch number 33, Jalen Miner. Takes off inside. Your check is wide open. Nobody around him. Only the official. Right here, he acts like he's going to block. Right there, Jalen Smith goes inside. Your check's wide open. Sits down. The, the closest. He tight broke it better than anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> but he's definitely in. First time in the red zone tonight for the Bearcats. More short throw. Incomplete. The hit delivered by Chris Jackson. Hayden Moore showing some life here. Bearcats looking for points with just under a minute left to go in the first half. Moore creating some time. Forced towards the sidelines and fires incomplete. Contact in the end zone. No flag though as Geddes was the intended receiver. And if Moore would have been able to set his feet and throw the football, that might have been six. But Marquise Couch, number six, had pressure on him. Did not allow him to set his feet and throw the football, and you see how it sailed on him. Here's Moore tossing it outside again. Khalil Lewis going backwards that time. And he's going to be thrown for a loss of one. And you see right there, J.J. Pinkney's trying to make a block, but you been one of the toughest first halves, I would say, in the history of Cincinnati football to watch through the first 30 minutes for this home crowd. And the ones who have hung in are hoping for a thrilling comeback. 
Keep an eye on 95. You're a check. Lining up in the slot. He has been lethal tonight. Linton looks the other way. Fires this one. Incomplete. Looked like the defensive back was tied up with Tyree Brady. No flag comes down. It was Davin Pierce right there. And Pierce got away with another one on that play. He grabbed the jersey of Brady. On that play, I mean, come on. <laughs> you see Coach Holiday, he's trying to keep his composure right now. And he's got to because your team responds to how you respond. Here's Vedvik to punt it away. Devin Gray, the return man. Heard trying to down it inside the five, and they do just that. Great coverage on special teams. DeAndre Wilson down there to cover. Aiden Moore's taking some time to get in sync with offensive coordinator Mike Denbrock. Second down at six now. There's that little curl route, and Rashad Medeiros has the catch. He was taken down by Marquise Couch. Third and four. Moore, another third down attempt here, and another tie up. Receiver and defensive back, Thomas Geddes, couldn't separate. And Marshall really playing feisty. Jalen McLean sat that time. Frustrating Hayden Moore. And it almost looked as if Moore was predetermined where he was going with the football on this play, as opposed to reading what the defense was giving him and going through his progressions. Linton is going to want to bottle this performance up. Still hasn't finished it just yet. Back to the ground game for the herd, and they gash him on first down. That's Keon Davis. See if the herd can get some more points here. Add to their 24-7 lead. Here's Davis. Boy, Davis got great speed, doesn't he? Now he's got three, four yards right as he touches the football. Gets it close to the third. Third down five. Davis, big hole. And he should have a first down. And once again, the center, Levi Brown, makes a big block on that play, number 61. He's running a tandem block with Jordan Dowry, the left guard. He's able to get up to the second level and cover up the linebacker, which allows the back to run off of his backside and get a first down. Watch number 61. You see the tandem block? He sees the guard take over. He gets to the second level. Now you've got number 24, Keon Davis, an alley to get up and get the first down. Did not get a good spot that time, so it's fourth and one. Feed Davis again. Why not? And I think he may be short. Needed one, got about a half yard. That was an interesting spot on that third down. I thought maybe Coach Holiday and his staff should have challenged that. Jason Lake coached up. Bill Leg, Todd Goble, co-offensive coordinators for this Marshall team. Here's the punt. Edvig barely gets it off. They'll take a hurt bounce. It is loose, and Marshall may have it. At the 31, it depends. Did it hit a Bearcat player? Scramble for it. Officials still trying to sort it out, but it looks like it is hurt football. That's the third turnover of the night if it stands. The problem with that play is the offensive player has to tell his teammates clear out. The rolling on the field. It's a receiving team touch the ball. It was muffed and recovered by the kicking team. First down for the kicking team at that spot. And that's on the punt return. If you've got to tell your guys to clear out because they can't see the football. They're running down blocking. You've got to tell them to clear out right here. It definitely bounces off of the Bearcat player. I can't see his number on that play. And clearly. At number nine that time, Lyndon Stevens. And you don't see the returner telling him to clear out, clear out, clear out. That's what you have to do because they can't see the football. 
It is amazing. It seems like everything that could possibly go wrong tonight has gone wrong for Cincinnati. Linton, one more time to Juracek. Ring it up. This combo is exciting to watch. And you knew it was coming. He has been the forgotten man, and he is having one of the best nights a tight end can have. You see Litton, you hit the hit hand clap, and once again, he sneaks out down the middle of the field. No one runs with him through would-be tacklers. If you watch, nobody reacts, and at the last minute, Malik Clemens tries to turn back around and run with him, but it's too late because he's reacting to the guard pulling out. You see, they're, they're going for that pitch play. It's kind of a play-action pitch play just because the guard pulls around. You see Clements react to that and step up, and once he takes that step up. So Coach Fickle's team will get another chance here. First down from the 45. Aiden Moore still in the game at quarterback. Make the jet sweep. Now step up and fire incomplete. Ball was tipped at the 40 before it got to its target. It's good hands by Chase Hancock, the junior linebacker. And Hancock did a good job of reading Moore's eyes and putting himself in position to be in between the receiver and the ball. <laughs> we have a real live cowboy on the field. Heard run the football and nice blocking. This is Keon Davis gets it across midfield and a first down at the 43 yard line. First down. Davis those holes start to open up. He races to the outside and he is racing to the end zone. And they say he stepped out at the seven yard line. But I'll tell you what the burst that Davis has had tonight has been impressive. Well, you're looking at a tired Bearcat defense right now. The Thunder and Herd have almost doubled up in time of possession. You see right here, guys are getting blocked, getting chopped, getting cut, getting outrun in the defensive backfield. Now, let's see if he stepped out of bounds. Yes, he did. Good call by the officials. Johnny on the spot to mark the ball down on the seven-yard line. But you see a tired Bearcat defense. They've spent double the amount of time on the field as their counterparts for the Thundering Herd. That's if coordinator Bill Legg said really, really work some wonders. Second and goal now. Run it again. Here's Keon Davis. That surge has been there. He takes it all the way to the one. So Keon Davis the running back. Cincinnati trying to get a stop here. Litton hands to Davis, and he has the surge, and he has it in. Touchdown, Marshall. And they ran the ball where they've had the most success throughout this evening, in the A-gap between the guards. You see right there, he goes right in the A-gap, right in between the guards. Since 2013, 14, and 15, all 10 wins. And then things kind of went downhill from there. Pause on the return for Cincinnati. The Bearcat football at the 17 yard line. Luke Fickle learned under. He's never lived out of the state of Ohio. So I think the success only a matter of time here in Bearcat country. Pause makes a nice move. And he is stripped of the football, and Marshall. Looks like they're going to have this one. That's another great play made by Chase Hancock. And C.J. Rivas didn't get the interception a few series ago, but finally able to get that one. The ruling on the field. The ball was fumbled and recovered by the defense. And I expect this Bearcat offense, the specialty positions to do a lot of high and tight, holding on to the football drills next week in practice because you're seeing too many fumbles. You're seeing a guy trying to make a play. I like the idea of trying to make a play and get as many positive yards as possible, but the ball does come out. The previous play of a fumble recovered by the defense is under review. The key is if his elbow went down, I don't think his elbow went down. I think this is going to be called a fumble, stay a fumble on the field. You see right here. Let's see if the elbow goes down. Nope. 
You see the forearm go down, but I think the ball is coming out prior to the forearm. After review, the runner's elbow was down at the 45-yard line. It'll be first down for Cincinnati at that spot. 24 seconds now on third down. Set up the screen. Where has this been tonight? Marshall game plan for that all week long. We finally see it. And Rodney Allen is in position to make the tackle. That can't happen. Clock now winding down, and it will stop with four seconds. Timeout, Cincinnati. That's their third. Full timeout. Likely the final play of the game. Aiden Moore looking end zone, and it's incomplete. And that's going to do it. So the thundering herd with win number three, and finally a smile and a bit of elation from head coach Doc Holliday. The herd impressive as they go on to take it 38 21. Forrest Connolly, final thoughts from Cincinnati. Marshall is a team to be reckoned with in Conference USA, and I love Litton. He is a quarterback that can make plays with a strong arm. For Forrest Connolly, I'm Drew Felio saying so long from Nippert Stadium with a final score. 38 to 21.